Hi, my name is Joel Vortman. I'm the business manager at the Australian Water School, and I'm excited to have Craig Price and Evan O'Brien here to share some of the new insights on the recent release of HEC RAS in dual version 6.6 and RAS 2025 featuring a brand new interface just launched a few weeks ago. The Australian Water School will be coordinating some training around these new releases. We have some training already on our website uh, under the on-demand format there that you can see uh, with Cray and Evan as the key presenters delivering that training. But before we dive into uh, future new releases and training opportunities that the Water School will coordinate. We wanted to highlight some of the key updates from the US Army Corps of Engineers right now. So to explain those changes a little further, I'll hand over to Cray. So thank you, Cray. Over to you. Thanks, Joel. Yeah, we've got two emails that have come out um, just in the last couple of weeks, one around HECRAS 6.6 .6 and one around 2025. So we wanted to just step you through a couple of these new features, let you know what's coming and what you can use right now. So this uh, first one, HECRAS 6.6, .6, um, we've got some links here that you'll see, and we'll post all these in the YouTube description. What you'll notice about 6.6 .6 is that all the menus are the same as they were. Uh, there are some new features and uh, bug fixes and a couple of other new things in that version, which you'll want to take advantage of, but it is going to be a very familiar interface to those who are already experienced with, uh, with HECRAS. So I'll just step through some of these links again, which we'll include in the YouTube channel. The first one being the download. So do access this and download it. Um, it at the moment, it will replace your previous versions. You can reinstall those uh, if you'd like. Uh, some of the previous versions that you might have running on your machine, uh, but here's where you can get the latest, including some brand new example projects, which we'll get to here momentarily. So on the release notes, you'll see some of the things that have been incorporated and um, a few of the links to uh, some of the pages that you've also are able to access here. Uh, the new features, uh, there's a few of these including what uh, everybody's very excited about at the moment is uh, pipes. It's a beta version still. Evan will walk us through a couple of examples um, where we've been trying this. The pipe networks, if you click on some of these links, you'll see how you can bring these in. And the geometries in particular are what's new in 6.6. .6. And you can see here, in on this page how to set up these geometries it'll walk you right through that and including some of the types of pits and pipes and you know that we'll do these as nodes and conduits uh, some of the types of things that we were not able to model before you would have had to use other software uh, in the past to model these networks and combine them potentially with your 1d or 2d model now you can put these features right into your model there are some additional resolved issues, uh, including the uh, update to infiltration, which helps now being able to upgrade some of your previous projects to, and the new Confluence documentation page, which has been around for a little while, but you may want to explore some of the new content here. All the manuals are now online and updated live when there's uh, an addition to add. So there are a few known issues. Evan will step us through a few of these momentarily, but I do want to also highlight then RAS 2025. Now, this is whole different look, whole different look and feel. If you're wanting to install this yourself and you go to these download links, what you'll see is that you can just install it without, without admin privileges. Some people need to deal with admin privileges on their machines. You download this, you've got the alpha version here. So be mindful that it is still an alpha version. If you double click on this ras.exe, it will open up this brand new interface here and a couple of exciting things um, that uh, are going to be very helpful. One is that overnight, if you report a bug, which you can do live through this um, RAS window right here, you can report a bug uh, right through the software. And then if that bug gets fixed and addressed, that update will show up, could show up the next day. And you can see here, there's already since the initial release, uh, just a week or two back, there's already some new fixes and updates. So again, um, take advantage of this, give it a play. You know, we do want to do a bit of a reality check here. This is still going to be a few years before it is viable and can be used on uh, active projects. So this is an ongoing process of incorporating some of the features. The one feature that you can uh, use at the moment and pull into your 6.6 .6 models is this mesh generation tool. So these things uh, are pretty exciting uh, to see where, where we're heading with this uh, in the future. 
future. But again, keep in mind that it is a uh, beta version uh, or sorry, an alpha version at the moment. So you can go to the website here, these links, and do subscribe to the Core of Engineers uh, YouTube channel. This quick start guide, which you can see here, will get you started with some of these features how to set the projection, which is a little bit different. And again, these meshing tools and a few other things have been added uh, that, that you may want to take advantage of. So there's a dedicated YouTube channel for HackerAz 2025. It includes this live stream webinar that was just held a few days ago. And if you get a chance to watch that, you'll get a lot of your questions answered. So again, this, these are a couple of exciting new features that you may want to take advantage of. We will offer you new content here through the Australian Water School as soon as we've been able to uh, test it sufficiently and to make sure that we're able to use these on ongoing projects, but we're looking forward to what's coming. So Evan, you've taken this one out, I think both versions for a test drive. If you wanted to share your screen and just show us uh, some of your initial findings. Thanks, Craig. Look, I was uh, pretty excited to see this released. Um... 2025 too, but it's not quite ready. It's only in alpha. So, you know, play with it. I'm excited to try the new meshing tools and, and bring them back into current HackRAS and see what we can do with it that way. But more immediately, I wanted to look at the pits and pipes functionality because to me, it was the big missing piece basically out of out of HackRAS. And so I got straight to it. I already had some LiDAR for the, the streets around my house. And so I went away and built a little mesh and you can see... I live in a newish sort of suburb where the uh, drainage system is primarily along the curved streets that follow the natural contours. And I went to the council website and downloaded their GIS pipe data, which was terrible, by the way. Um, and that's an important thing because the manual says, hey, just like import the shape file and away you go. And that's great if the GIS data is great. And my GIS data was rubbish. It was full of weird fields. Half the inverts were missing. So... You know, it's all about quality controlling. But nonetheless, getting uh, building the network itself was um, fairly intuitive. It probably took me, you know, half an afternoon. And there's my pipe network right there. Um, you know, things make sense. You can uh, you can readily, you know, review your network to to see what things look like. And I can just, you know, say I wanted to check that my conduits were all going downhill, I can select a drainage line and then I might plot the conduit profile. Now that's appeared in a separate window, but I can tell you I'm looking at something that looks fabulous. So I have this model, I put some boundary conditions on, I went away and developed a rain on grid hiatus graph um, and I went to hit run and sadly it just wouldn't work for me. And uh, show you my compute messages. Uh, so unfortunately, my system went unstable, and I struggled with this for a long time. I thought I've done something terribly wrong. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a hopeless modeler. What's wrong with me? And eventually, I thought to go to the the HackRAS uh, web page. And for the moment, there's a units issue. If you're building in SI units, which a lot of us are, the, um, the pipe network doesn't quite do the conversion correctly at the moment. Now, I suspect that'll be an easy, easy fix, and you could probably expect a a bug release fix sometime soon. Um, but look, setting the model up was easy. I later deleted out these pipes and, and ran the model. Rain on grid, just surface network. Uh, it's rock solid. It's a, it's an improvement over earlier versions, certainly. So I think, you know, watch this space and quite soon we'll have, you know, a, a functional pits and pipes model, probably still in beta, but that's how these things work. And before long, we'll be able to use this for production modeling. No, thanks for that demo, Evan. Uh, yeah, sometimes the SI units, uh, you know, we can't put demands on the, the Corps of Engineers uh, from uh, the international community of freeloaders uh, who are not paying uh, paying the wages of the Corps of Engineers like the U.S. taxpayers are. But um, we will be excited to see some of these things come into SI units. Uh, do check. There are some places where if you go into your um, HECRAS window in 6.6, .6, there are some computer systems that will come up and keep gravity in um, English units, but convert it to metric and keep it at uh, 32 meters per second squared. So you might have some projects out on Jupiter until we uh, get some of those uh, SI unit bugs uh, fixed. So um, yeah, come stay tuned on the Australian Water School website. We will uh, show on th 
this HECRAS training series page, uh, some of the new releases um, and some of the new features that we'll cover uh, will be listed there and we'll include those in the YouTube descriptions as well um, as soon as we're ready to run those. So with that, back to you, Joel. Yeah, thanks, Cray. Thanks, Evan, for your time and, and appreciate you yeah, just putting this quick video together to just give us a quick update to where things are in the HECRAS space and stand by as we deliver some more training in this space in the future. Thank you. Thanks, Cray. Thanks, Evan. Cheers. Thanks. Bye-bye.